This is just one of the 100 homes Habitat for Humanity is still restoring. We're going on three months now since the flood. Mold, they say, has been the biggest unexpected holdup. It's quiet outside until the truck pulls up. It's the Habitat for Humanity volunteers. They're here today for Neptali Duran. He walks us to his door. Inside, the buzz of reconstruction is loud and clear. He shows us around. This is the baño. The stufa. Duran has lived here for 16 years. He says the sandbags he put up for protection couldn't stop a foot of water from creeping into his home in June. Y pues Duran's is one of 5,000 valley homes damaged or destroyed in the June floods. So KRGV made the call and the Valley answered. Executive Director for Habitat for Humanity, Rio Grande Valley, Wayne Lowry, looks back on the many who donated for disaster relief. Anywhere from a $15,000 donation down to a few pennies that were dropped off by kids. You know, everybody came together, uh, truly was the heart of the Valley, coming together, providing a helping hand uh, to lift up our community in, in a desperate time of need. Habitat y FIMA y pues nos han ayudado, nos han ayudado, este, no más que, pues quién no se desespera, eh, ha pasado dos meses y, y más, pero ya gracias a Dios ya estamos viendo la luz. Duran and Lowry call the recovery a long-term one. Many more still need help. Lowry says FEMA rejected over 2,500 applications. When you look at the big picture, and we're able to help 100 out of the 2,500, there's gonna be a lot of families for the next few months uh, and maybe years uh, in queue waiting for help. Lowry explains Habitat for Humanity's efforts are taking longer than expected. Mold is the big problem. I believe just because of the level of humidity and, and the constant uh, state of, of high moisture, it seeps into the walls and, and you clean it and you think it's good to go and then you go test later and, and there may be more, uh, mold spores. That was the case for Duran's home. Even after gutting and cleaning, mold was still there. Unfortunately, this particular home had evidence of mold, so we had to do some additional um, work with the family to help clean up those troubled areas, retest, and now it's been cleared and ready to move forward. All that's left of the work here in Duran's home is stuffing insulation back in the walls to cover it all up with sheetrock. Habitat for Humanity is still accepting donations and applications from flood victims who still need help. To sign up, go to habitatrgv.org. In Westlaco, Sierra Pizarro, Channel 5 News at 6.